Hi everybody, this is Sherry from Share Bear Cottage. Welcome, and I have a little video here that I wanted to show you what I was working on. Um, you know, I just want to say thank you um, to all my subscribers, you know, for being patient with me. And for all my new subscribers, welcome. And... Um, I'm glad the old subscribers are hanging around. You guys are helping me so much. And um, I, I truly, truly appreciate it. But now about our little video here. Um, the other day I was going through some stuff again, like I always am. And um, I noticed I had a whole lot of um, one-sided, um, you know, 12 by 12 scrapbook papers and I thought I need it you know use some of these somehow so what I decided to do was to take them and um you know put them back to back and so like for this one here this this here this pair here was uh, made from one well two sheets back to back of 12 by 12 paper so <clears throat> what i did was i had this sheet of paper and i had this sheet of paper and i was thinking about mother's day and i was thinking about you know pearls and jewelry and diamonds and lace and all the beautiful things that mothers uh, wear. And um, anyway, so I backed these two together. Then I took the scoreboard and I thought, well, maybe I can make some, you know, some um, mini journals, you know, like all purpose. So I put my piece on the scoreboard and I found my six inch <laughs> oh that's funny and I found my six inch um, center so I went a quarter inch from the six inch on the right and I went a quarter inch from the six inch on the left so on each side of the, the six inch I went a quarter and a quarter. Then I went over to the side and I went two inch. And I went over from the other side and I went ten inch. So that's how I came up with this size. Now, <clears throat> I know that I could have made it with no spine on it. You know, with just, you know, something like that. But I always like to have a little bit of a spine. Even it's only, you know, for one um signature so that's what i did i made a little bitty spine here and um so um i'm still working on this one i was thinking about let me move this board well i'm going to leave it here i'm going to use it i was thinking about you know decorating and then you know you have you end up with a pocket here and a pocket here you can break this pocket down and make it smaller for both of them. You could, uh, you know, cut this, you know, in some kind of fashion to make it smaller that way. And um, so we're working with this basic body. Okay. So I have another one here that I took. I took this piece of scrap of paper. You see that it's too big. Okay, let me go up higher. Okay, this is a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. And I also had another piece of the pearl scrapbook paper. So I glued them back to back. So this one, I'm going to do just like I did the other one. 
and you know I thought if you have some you know 12 by 12 paper that's only one side you might want to use some of them up so I didn't I thought you know maybe this might be you know a little way to do it so the pearls are, are a no-brainer you they can go anyway but this side I want the this part to be on the front and the back and the bottom. I could do it the other way with it on the top, but I want it on the bottom. Okay? And I want this side to be the outside. So I'll put this on my board like this, and I will go two inch. I'll do it twice. And then I go to the six inch and I come back one quarter inch. I don't want to go down the six inch because it will um, uh, break down the uh, <clears throat> fibers in the um, cardstock or the paper. It feels like cardstock now. And um, it will make a more of a rounded. Um, instead of nice and crisp on this end okay more of a rounded spine i need to learn to finish my uh sentences now uh or words now i'm going to go a quarter inch above or beyond the six inch and go back and forth a couple of times now I'll come over here to the 10 inch and I'll score there. All right, that should do it. Let's put this little board away and um, get me get out my other bone folder. So what we have now is we have uh, if my little dog keeps barking, I'm gonna have to go out there and see what is the matter. Okay. So there's the one pocket. Here's the other pocket. It's pretty dry out here. Um, the weather's been cooler, but um, I can tell by the paper that it's uh, pretty dry. And then we'll fold over one side of the spine. And we'll fold over the other side of the spine. All right. Just like that. And then we have another body to our little mini journal. Now this journal will measure um, three and almost three quarters that's with the two inches inside by um let's see six of course six <laughs> six that's right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to um straighten this out we have a little lip here let's let's get a little closer in all right right there Anyway, I have a little lip here that I didn't get it on quite straight. Now I can take this off or I could try to hide it with uh, inking it, but I prefer to just take it off as long as I can see it. And we go just like that. Uh, do we have any more that needs to come off? Yes, we have a little bit here. This side. And I'm talking little. <laughs> but I can see it's white, so I don't like that. There. And then I thought we had some, yeah. We have just about that much over here. Oop, slid right off the rail there. <clears throat> okay there we go <laughs> i'm talking little tiny T 
tiny pieces. Okay, let's make sure we have our fuller right side up. Now what I want to do, and I can see this is starting to crack. See, this is why I wanted to use these um, old pieces because, you know, I don't want them just to go to waste. So I'm going to ink these up. Am I too close now? I need to get a little farther away. I'll get it right yet. You just hang in there with me and I'll get it right. Okay. So, just going to do that edge. And we're going to do these edges. And I'm just putting a fine line on. Hopefully I can get through the whole process of inking with just doing <clears throat> a fine line. Having a little trouble projecting my voice. So maybe I should plug in the other microphone. Let me see if I can reach it. Let me try. I don't know if that's better or worse for you, but uh, we'll find out. Okay, so I'm going to try to just go around the very edge. You see how I'm just highlighting the very edge of that white stock. These were both white core papers. Okay, like most papers are. There we go. I don't know if I'm in frame or not. You guys got to yell at me when I'm not in frame. <laughs> Wish you could, huh? I'm going to go a little higher. There we go. Okay, where are we? Um, can I do this? I think I got that. Okay, so we just need the, the spine part now. The other thing that you can do, <clears throat> and I might do it, is, um, you know, if you don't like it and, and the um, ink has not helped the cracking, the look of the cracking because um, it won't crack any farther because of the other uh, paper but if you don't like it you can always you know before you finish your um, journal you can always take a piece of lace or something and put it put it on there put it on the edges so it's it's not a big problem but you know, that might even look cute on there. And I have a bigger piece of this somewhere. All right. So here we have our our body for our journal. And um, this is the inside. Now, these two come in this way. And then we have this. I like how this goes all the way around. That's really cute. I'm going to go ahead and put my little thumb holes in. Try to get it try to get it right about in the middle and not too deep. Now that was a little bit tough because, you know, I'm two thicknesses of the um paper and you know scrap paper you know, it's not super super thick but it um does carry a little weight to it and um it's not like your your regular copy paper so this one i gotta turn over so i can see come on get in there there we go okay Right, 
there. There we go. Doesn't it look pretty with the pearls inside? I think it looks so pretty. All right, let's uh, go ahead and and uh, glue this down. I think I'm going to just go ahead and use <laughs> and use um, my fabric glue. I think it's. I think it's ready. Okay. Ouch! Something pinched me. I always wonder if I'm going to, you know, lean into some needles or something, you know, because I, I lose my little pins, you know, for my glue, just like this one right here. Had a blue head. Here it is. Yeah, I don't want that happening. Okay, and we're just going to add some that glue all over here. We're going to add some glue right along here. It's coming slowly. Here. Then you have pockets in here. You can put things in here. I was thinking instead of this just being a, you know, sit down and, and do your journal, you know, write your your day or whatever, I was thinking that it might be something you could carry in your purse, you could carry in your car. Um, I don't know what happened. Are you there? Okay. Anyway, uh, I guess just my monitor went out. I'm not sure. So here I'm back. It does look like it stopped, though, uh, before. So I don't know where it stopped, but we just glued the sides here, both places. And I'm just kind of hanging on to it, you know, so our pockets will become pockets. I wanted to show you this that I got. This is called a three-way corner punch. Now, they have these in blue, and the blue ones round it out. This is three ways. And the blue ones round it out three ways. I have my blue one in my, ah, in my living room. But this one I got, and it just cuts them off, you know, like uh, making a tag. And I wanted to show you that. Like here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. this. Here, I'll put this open. It'll be darker. So this one's really tiny. This one's just a little bit bigger and then a little bit bigger. They're not that big. But I thought, you know, for the little ends that we take off, can you see that? I hope so. You see that? The little ends that we like to cut off, that'd be great. And then here's the next size up like that see that yeah and then the bigger size which isn't that big is here about what we'd use for maybe a, a journal card it's not bad so I just wanted to share that with you this was on Amazon and I just found it by chance. I was just looking at the punches. And that's how I found it. And the other thing that I got uh, that came today in the mail is this. And it is washi tape. Probably the prettiest washi tape I've ever seen. It has the gold... Um, well, here, let's just pull some out, see what we can find. They're much smaller than I had hoped, <laughs> but, you know, and they are quite pricey. But I think I got it on Etsy. But here it is. This one is called B. This is, oh, no. I don't know if I want to keep that or not. I'll put it to the side. 
Look at this washi. Is this the most beautiful thing? This is only a slight, let's see. It's the very slightest. It's about a half an inch and a sixteenth. My board does not measure sixteenth, but it's, it's very minutely over a half inch wide. And there's not that much on it, but... But I wanted to show you, is that the prettiest ever washi tape you've ever seen? Okay, I'm not sure if we got this all figured out or not, but uh, I tried. So what I've got here is this beautiful washi tape. It has gold leafing on it. Very, very pretty. And then, um, this is the uh, teal color. I'll either hoard this, or I'll use it all up real fast. <laughs> and then I got the, um, the one that's kind of a, a mixture of um, purple and um, gold and green flowers. see that yeah and then I got this one. Oh my goodness this one is um let's see it's kind of a plum plummy color and then this one here is pink and peach that's pretty and it was from an Etsy shop. I'm not sure which one. I don't have it written down here. And um, like I said, I thought it was kind of expensive, but I'm on a limited budget when it comes to my crafting things, so I have to watch it. Anyway, um, I thought I'd just share those and then... And then um, and then this too. This was a really good price. You know, I don't know if anybody would be interested in this. I don't have one of those lists, you know, that you can go and to Amazon on my list and buy it, you know. But um, I've been thinking about that. If I knew how to do it, I would do it. Okay, so we're going to go back to... Let me just take this off. Not sure how I'm going to decorate that one. Back to our pockets. And um, so these these are really nice, big, strong, sturdy pockets. You know, it's no need to worry about these pockets at all. And um, the size, I think, is just, you know, handy. Um, maybe a little bit bigger than a, a wallet or maybe about the same size. You know, and it can go in the little pocket, you know, in our in our um, pocketbook or our purse or our even in the pocket in our jacket or our backpack or any of those things. So now this one here, I have already started decorating. And so what I did, I've got two little tiny signatures here ready <clears throat> to put in. This one here is like this one, except I cut out a two by three piece um, of the front and I took off half of the pocket, but it can still be used as a pocket, but I took off half of a pocket uh, just so that when this showed, it would only show the first page behind it. And I, I uh, have acetate on here, and I put some flowers in here. I thought they turned out really nice. Yeah. And uh, without, yeah. I guess I'm closer to my camera this time than I normally am. I keep trying to scooch, scooch up, and I need to scooch back. 
So, I don't know. Let's see what we've got in here for our signatures. Yeah, we just got some writing paper and a piece of book page. And, uh, which I will either put, um, I don't know, I'll put something on here. Maybe some gesso, a piece of uh, ledger paper, coffee dye paper with a pocket. Um, here's a, another piece of... Uh, book page. I did uh, do the corners. I thought that looked cute because the tag was like that. So I did the corners like that with my handy dandy new corner maker. <laughs> and um, it doesn't take much for me guys. You know, I get happy for for the least little thing. Oh, and I made this a tuck. I don't have anything to show here. I'll use this one as our example. So I made a little tuck here, and here on the back side, I, um, this is one of those envelopes that I made, you know, that I had the video on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I stamped it, and I put it in here. I haven't highlighted it or inked it or anything yet, and I put it on the flap. So it'll go like that. You can put a tag inside here. Just like that, tag, yeah. And then there's more writing space here if I leave it like that. I mean, you can doll these all up to the hilt, you know, or you can leave them plain. You can put all plain paper in, you know. I just thought, you know, I'd put a little variety in. And then um, we're here at the back and got some signature paper got a uh, piece of this is another piece of scrapbook paper i got it towards the bottom and this one is the front and the back of the first signature and i want to keep that one in the middle let's just put that there well better not put it there for now okay so then when that goes in there you know what you see is the flowers and how pretty they came out yeah. And then I have another small signature here. Oh, I cut a piece out here. And have a just a piece of lace there. I thought I made a pocket, but I didn't. And here's a little tuck. A little tuck on a, a little bird house. And a tuck over here. And this little bird house has nothing. But here's another one of those little envelopes I made. Oh, I'm getting out of frame. Okay, now you guys got to yell at me. This is another one of those little envelopes I made in that other video. And um, to put a tag in there. And behind, I left it open. So if you wanted to put something there. And it has stamped. It's stamped too. This is just a pretty piece of leftover... Um, digital paper and I just print it on both sides and then this here I put a piece I think this was from shush, so, ooh, I hate to say when I'm not sure it's either shabby dabby doo da <clears throat> or it could be my porch prints and then the book page little globs of glue now this is one of the little uh, pockets that we made from the leftover piece of cardstock that I used. And I thought it either would fit in here, you know, over the edge like this. And then I thought, oh, no, it's awful tight. So I might put it up at the top like that. And then it will fit. Let's put it on this back one. I don't know um, what I'm going to put on the cover of the other one, but we'll think of something. So there's our two little signatures. <clears throat> and look how sweet they fit in here. I was really surprised. And even, you know, we could even put... Yeah, look at that. Just like that. Is that so nice? And we even... Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Even have room, you know, to make... Make it a little fluffier if we want. 
I don't know what kind of closure. I'm going to uh, figure out some kind of really small little closure for this. And um, I just thought they were really cute. I wanted to show them to you, see how you thought about them, and leave me a comment. Let me know if you like it. And I love the size, you know. I uh, think they're simple. Um, you know, I used up, what, one, two, three, four sheets, four sheets of um, scrap, um, no, scrapbook paper, and I've got another one of these to make. So you see this one, I could, I could even do the pearl on the outside. That would look pretty with lace, too. And then there's the pockets. So, my friends, I'll keep plugging away, and you keep plugging away, and um, I'll catch you on the next video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, come back and visit me, and um, I'll see what else kind of mischief we can get in together. <laughs> All right, everybody. Bye-bye. Take care.